and we are live guys welcome to another live stream from men of high value channel my name is joseph darling it is 7 21 a.m this morning i woke up at 4 30 actually the alarm passed through so i snoozed so we went to 4 39 and i got up why did i get up i got up because there's 99 plus messages on luista's instagram and right now i'm helping him out to sell and I've been doing that for the last flipping five days because of the Shaq reply he got five days ago. <laughs> okay. So Luista is one of my clients. He sells uh, canvases and they are flipping amazing. So go check them out on Instagram, Luista, L-O-U-A-I-S-T-A, and you can get any canvases you want, any image. And basically what happened is that he sent out you know, he's doing what I'm telling him to do is to send out all of the um, the reach outs and continuously do that. Contact celebrities, have an offer that you can give them. And he's done that consistently for quite some time. And Shaq replied. And then he puts out on Twitter that Shaq replied and suddenly he gets 250,000 likes on that tweet. That is insane. OK, so. Ever since Monday, we've been trying to get rid of those messages and we can't get rid of them. It's still 99 plus messages. I bet that you have never had 99 plus messages on your Instagram ever before. He, he has and we can't get rid of it. Why am I telling you this story? One, of course, you know, promoting Loisa, blah, blah, blah. But number two. I want to teach you about how to stop being needy. Do you think that me and Luista right now selling his canvases are needy to sell his canvases right now? Exactly. So when people contact him right now to get a canvas and they say no, what do you think that does to our psyche? Nothing. Exactly. Masculinity is being emotionally consistent. And if you've got a lot of options, your emotions can continuously be consistent. That's what it's all about. That's what the universe is about, is to have emotional consistency so that you are able to get whatever it is that you desire. If you understand sexual transmutation, if you understand vibrating at a higher frequency in order for you to, you know, use the law of attraction in your life, this is it. The only reason why you're not achieving the things with the law of attraction is because you're not emotionally consistent. That's why I don't talk about the law of attraction much, because that's not the basics. The basics is understanding femininity and masculinity and how you've been flipping feminine all of your life if there are certain areas in your life that still suck. So you've got to understand what is it that I can do to get to the other side and become more masculine. And you know what it requires? It requires you going through a lot of rejection. Rejection is the key to the game. The more you're rejected, the more you, you hit the wall and you voluntarily hit the wall, you're going to get everything that you desire as long as you keep voluntarily hitting the wall. You see, people out there hit the wall every day and they fail and fail and fail but without voluntarily doing it more. <laughs> this is the secret of success. On the other side of failure is where you will find success. When you go through hell, that's when you get to heaven. You won't get heaven right now. That's why, you, you know, it's not all about enjoying the now. It's about making the now better. And the way that you make the now better is to understand that, you know, I'm going to have a hell right now for a period of time and i'm okay with it i'm actually fired up outside my brain about it because that's how the universe works and it's not the fact that you're going through hell that begins to attract heaven 
It's the fact that you are emotionally stable and consistent through hell that gets you to heaven because of your confidence. It's your confidence that makes the whole difference. What do you think that women are attracted to? Confidence. What do you think money is attracted to? Confidence. What do you think makes you manage to lift 150 or 200 kilos in bench press? Confidence. And how do you get that confidence? By continuously being rejected all the way up until you actually manage to get exactly what it is that you want. You see how all of this is put together. The whole universe works like this. So once you figure out that system and that femininity, your femininity is the problem, it's all solved. You can now move on to masculinity one small day at a time and know that even if you're taking baby steps and improving 1% every single day, the exponential growth will happen for you. It's impossible for it not to happen to you. Success is not luck. It is you being consistent every single day until it clicks. And it will click. That's why your success long term is 100% predictable if you voluntarily re go into rejection mode, right? If you voluntarily accept rejection in your life, and realize that you have to go through hell to get to heaven, you will get whatever it is that you desire because, again, it's all about confidence. So what does this have to do with semen retention? Think about how needy you've been throughout your entire life. Every time you watch porn, every time that you are 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 doing the PMO thing, right? You're being rejected, but you're being rejected and then putting the tail behind your legs. Because it's kind of you, you become a wimp. You you basically lose, right? It's like you move towards rejection and then you lose. And and it takes you days and weeks to get back from it. And then you become depressed for a long period of time. And then you're like, I don't want to be rejected in any other aspect of my life because I'm being rejected continuously by me depleting my energies on a daily or weekly basis. So how do you stop being needy? That's step number one is practicing semen retention. That's where it starts. There's tons of other people that manage to become successful out there without semen retention. But what is it that they have that you don't have? They've got confidence that they got from some other area of life. Maybe their parents actually were loving, <laughs> all right? Maybe they're a little bit more handsome. And because they're a bit more handsome, the girls are a little bit more attracted to them. Maybe their parents had money. And because they had money, they were able to buy a car, able to do other things that helped them get confidence. Confidence is the name of the game, but understand that they too hit a plateau where they cannot pass without having to go through the necessary self-rejection that it takes to get through to the next level. So if they become successful, their success will always decrease to the level of personal development that they've got. Right. So so if someone doesn't work on himself, if someone doesn't, you know, grow personally, if he has exponential growth, he'll stop. Exactly. There's going to be a dam right here that stops him from exponentially continuously increasing because he's not willing to go through rejection. He's not willing to work on himself. He's not willing to take the next level. And what is it to take the next level? It's to go through hell. It's to basically Allow yourself to be feminine for a time in order for you to become more masculine. Right now, you're comfortable in your comfort zone. I've spoken about this a thousand times, but hey, we've got new people watching these videos. You've got your comfort zone. It's tiny little bit of comfort zone and you're masculine. You're comfortable. You're emotionally stable in your comfort zone a lot of the time. 
But if anything happens that breaks your little bubble, then you freak out and you become emotionally unstable. But if you manage to voluntarily go outside of that comfort zone, what happens? Your comfort zone increases. So your goal, masculinity, is to have a gigantic comfort zone where nothing pricks your bubble because you're masculine. And that requires personal development. So if that person who is handsome, who's got the money, who's got the girls, blah, 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 if he if he stops there and has a dam there and there's a plateau and he, therefore he's, his success collapses, know that if you've set up the foundation once, understanding the true principles of success and what takes you to, to, you know, to the nth degree, you'll just shoot through. You'll be one, you know, you'll be one of those successful ones that like, how did this guy become successful? Your success is 100% predictable if you tap into the principles that I teach on the Men of High Value channel. It is impossible for you to live the life that I'm living and to be depressed. It's the impossible for you to step on this path, to step on this curve and remain depressed. It's all about creating options. Options is the key. So how do you stop being needy? In the future, not now, don't date women romantically right now unless you have $100,000 net worth, okay? We've spoken about this before as well. But in the future, how do you get the best women? options, right? Why does monogamy not work? Not having options, get it? Okay, responsible polygyny in Three Girls in Love as explained on my on my Instagram at three girls in love with the digit three girls in love. You need options, but you need a consistent option that lasts forever. If you want a family, you can't be sleeping around with a bunch of girls. You've got to have three. And they're your options. So whenever one is not interested, no problem. You're emotionally stable, even though you desire sex a lot more than they do. But they'll desire it a lot more as well when there's three. Trust me. Second aspect, sales, business. How do you become successful? Options. Create tons of options. And trust me, <laughs> right? Just like 99 plus messages for Luista. Tons of people are attracted to you because of your confidence level, because you're emotionally stable, because you don't care. Indifference, that's masculinity. But you care, but you only care about those that care about you. So the moment someone rejects you, no problem. Let's move on. And life is still fantastic. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. A uh, quick look at the comments and. Um, Let's see. I want to have three women. Awesome, man. Three At three girls in love on Instagram. You know where to find it. Also, look at uh, Girls of High Value channel on YouTube. Uh, it's still a young channel. I started that channel one year after this one. And so there's a bit fewer subscribers, obviously. But man, there's some really good stuff on that channel. Can we enjoy the now while working towards better nows? I want to also appreciate the, appreciate the moment and stay present. Of course. Like... I, I love being in the moment. I love being in my life. Like, I love my life, though I keep moving towards success. In fact, give me an example of why you're not appreciating the moment, okay? Because I, I, I don't really know what you're talking about because I don't know what it means to not be enjoying the now while you're on your journey. Because I've been on this journey for so long and I'm freaking fired up about my life. I'm freaking fired up about this moment. I love talking to you guys, right? So so why aren't you appreciating the moment? Doesn't make sense. Um, how to create options, sir. Embrace rejection. Embrace the no's. Embrace ridicule. Embrace basically people, you know, hating you and be fired up about it. That's the key. If you reach out to bunch of people, there's going to be a few that say yes. And you only need one person to boost your confidence to take you to the next level so that you can get two. 
And then you just, you know, that takes you to another level and then you get three. And suddenly you've got tons of options eventually if you keep doing it. The only problem is that people stop. And when they stop, their success stops and then everyone disappears. And then you're like, I'm needy and desperate again. I wonder what happened. It's because you didn't take action, right? How to deal with rude boss at work. Um, Embrace it embrace him <laughs> like obviously not physically but embrace every all the shit that he brings to your table embrace it be fired up outside your brain about it and do better work than everyone else at your work that's how you manage to get your boss to love you and if he loves you and he's nicer to you and he needs you because he doesn't have an option if you are the best one there right that's when you quit. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying you should ever quit your job unless you've got a side hustle that creates at least twice as much as your job. Okay. But if you're doing a fantastic job and your boss sucks, eventually he's going to need you. And when he needs you, he loves you more, right? Because he needs to keep you because or else this, his whole shop becomes shambles. And and you build your side hustle on the side, the more you build up your side hustle while you're a fantastic worker at work, the more confidence you have at work because you don't need him. You don't need the boss and you don't need this job. That's what gives you confidence and that's what makes your boss like you until the point when you've got enough money, you've got enough security because that other side hustle is creating a lot of income, that's when you quit. But by that time, you know, you know, contact me again and, and make sure that you're that it's wise to quit, because right now I don't recommend that you quit any job. Keep the job that you've got. Seriously, if you have a job, you're lucky because in the next few months, there's going to be maybe 30, 40 percent unemployment is going to get crazy. So you want to make sure that you keep your job. Um, I keep saying long term. Yeah, long term, man. Be fired up about the now while you're fired up about the long term and improving it. Uh, let's see. Area is hot in temperature on day 24. Yeah, man, just keep going. There's nothing else to do. Like, you know, enjoy the process, but focus on something else. Are you working eight to 12 hours every single day? If you're not, you're going to be focused a lot on that area. Yeah, things are happening right there now. Mm, yeah, yeah. You should be out serving people. Are you not serving people? right? Get out there. I'm 24. Am I too late for the benefits of semen retention? You can do semen retention until you're 100 years old, man. Actually, it's probably it's very probable that you become 100 years old if you're actually on semen retention. It's like a youth elixir or something. Um, so last thing, and probably this is the most important thing of this video. Why have you been needy throughout your life? Why have you um, not had options? Why did you not develop confidence like a lot of other people did from your teenage years and from your 20s? It's because your childhood sucked. It's because your parents were the only parents you had. Because your family was dysfunctional and you were neglected. That's why Three Girls in Love is the solution to an ever better society because of children are taken care of. If a child has three mothers, there's going to be more love, right? Not less. As long as the man of the family knows exactly what he, he's doing and makes sure that the women are equally loved and living in har harmony together because he always takes the blame, his children are going to be loved and worshipped by their mothers. That's going to create confidence and a desire to accept rejection as a teenage boy for him to, to create massive options in his life. You did not get that because you were neglected. Either if you were in school, or if you were homeschooled, most people are in school. Guess what? A teacher with 30 students, you don't think you're going to be neglected? You're always going to be neglected in monogamy because it sucks. OK, and it's getting worse and worse the more women are going into the workforce. So that's understanding where you came from. You came from monogamy. OK, and that needs to change for your children in the future. So so understand your femininity is from your childhood and you never having had a childhood. 
Okay, so I'm not saying that you should go out there and get a childhood now because that's not the goal. The goal is to get masculinity. And the faster you get masculinity, the faster you get your childhood back because you actually get to do fun, play, and enjoy work, right? It's not about remaining a child. Let's get rid of the childish things and move on to the things that actually matter. Do you have any mentorship options? I'd love to learn how to generate passive income, but I need help. Contact me on at men of high value on Instagram. Uh, what's up, fellas? What's up, Ronnie? Abandonment. Absolutely. So that's what I want to share, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for contributing to my channel. It means a lot to me. And uh, I'll see you again next time.